Good morning, everybody. It's Patty with Patty's Purse, and I'm here to do my weekly budget. It's been a hot minute, I think, since I filmed, and I apologize for that. Um, you know, uh, not much going on other than working and, you know, budgeting. <laughs> no, there's other stuff going on, but it's just, um, I'm not sure. I think being all in one planner, as much as I love it, I feel like then just people really want to see my all-in-one bunch, you know, all-in-one planner every week because it's not like things change. Like maybe for the next month, it'll change. Uh, maybe for Christmas, you know, just different planners. So trying to be a little bit more creative with my planning videos, um, but trying to keep on track with my budget videos as well. And I do like having my budget, you know, my PDF smaller and put right into my everyday planner. I did buy the new Budget by Paycheck workbook, which will come out in October, and I'll utilize that as well, and that'll just stay on my desk because I do like the smaller size. That's the one I bought, uh, but even this is a little smaller. So let's just jump right into this week's paycheck, was, which was um, I received yesterday, 918. Let's see if we can budget that down. I'm hoping for some extra income to come in. I'm expecting a check of $400, so that's why I haven't added this up as of yet. So this is my rollover was $4. This week's check was $768, and then Friday I'll get $162.50 for some extra, uh, just some extra income. So I'm budgeting cushion at $50, Amazon 101, American Express 50, Old Navy 70. Those are my credit cards due payment due this week. I bought some Arbon for my water that was 102 and then these are automatic savings that happen on a weekly basis and that's uh, mortgage savings for 50 alley for 40 and alley for 25 so for groceries i want to go to trader joe's this week i've been saying that for two weeks now so i'm definitely going to go and i budgeted a hundred dollars there plus i'm going to put 25 dollars into the weekly envelope i like to put money i started doing this in september just to have like a buffer in groceries, I do that weekly. And then if we need something during the week, or maybe it's one week that we don't go grocery shopping, by the following week or the third week, then we have the money in there to go grocery shopping and we don't have to take it from the weekly check. Hope that makes sense. Dine out, I'm budgeting 60, gas, I'm budgeting 35, and household, I'm budgeting 30. Now for sinking funds, I just have a few that I've been doing for September, so that would be three birthdays in max at five dollars each, which is twenty. Car maintenance is twenty. Black Friday will be five, and one month ahead is forty. And these little things you see here is that for our mortgage savings we have to do an IOU. So if I get that four hundred dollars that I'm expecting, I want to return a hundred dollars to water. That one will be all set, and then thirty dollars to one month ahead. And then, okay, so that's really it. That's all I have budgeted. Um, if I get the $400, um, like I said, I will pay these back, the IOUs to pay those back. I'll probably put a little extra into um, groceries or dine out envelope for the following week. And then I'm also going to do some sinking funds and some savings challenges. Um, these are the sinking funds that I have for the month. I try to switch it up. I might keep the same in October. I haven't done my October calendar yet. That's what I plan on to do um, today or tomorrow. And then I'm repurposing my Liverage Planner, which I'll show you here, to keep track of our daily spending. And I started this also in September, as you can see. Um, and that way, I... I miss doing that as well. So I, I like doing that in here and, you know, seeing the stickers and utilizing the stickers more in my budgeting process because I've always used stickers and I have a ton of them. So I do enjoy decorating the um, Liverage Planner calendar. And then what I do is once I track here, I use these pages to also track cash spending or debit what I write there should be equal to here. I'll highlight it and then it should equal what I'm spending here. And then kinda, um, I still use try to use this as well for meals, although we're already on Thursday and I haven't accounted for any meals this week, but we haven't purchased any, so that's good. Um, and I highlight in orange when we do spend money for takeout. 
So it's just kind of like checks and balances. And, you know, um, although I do where is where did my money go at the end of the month, sometimes it's not 100% accurate. Not that I need it to be 100% accurate. 90% would work for me, but I do like to keep track of where our money goes. So that is my budget for this week. Again, thank you for all being here. Thank you to my new subscribers, and I will see you next time. Bye.